So as you can see from the back of my van, I am gonna be very busy today. I have three parties and coincidentally, all of them are first birthday parties. And I actually need some extra help. My brother is following me down the highway in his pickup truck to you know help with this because two of my um, events involve bringing a backdrop and um, some other props and things like that. So I wasn't able to fit all of it into my van. My van is pretty spacious. I'm able to fit about two 12 to 15 foot balloon garlands in this van. But once you start adding props and other things like that, then it, it, it gets to be a little too much. So he's helping me right now. And I'm on my way right now to the baseball theme party. And that's gonna be the one I'm gonna show you in this video. So the balloons that I used were red Calisan balloons. And this is my first time using this brand of red. And then uh, Tough Tex Navy balloons, Sempertex white balloons, and Calisan Desert Sand balloons, which is like a tan color. So I'm gonna blow up my balloons two at a time, and then I'm gonna round them out by pressing them against the table, releasing air, and then I'm gonna tie them together into dupes, leaving enough slack at the neck. Then I'm gonna take my dupes and twist them together into small clusters. And you wanna make sure you double twist these balloons into the cluster so they're nice and secure and tight in there. I use different sizes for the red balloons. I use five inch, 12 inch, and 17 inch. And the five inch and 17 inch balloons I used were Tough Tex brand for the red. I used Calisan for the 12 inch. And that is important because I'm gonna to talk to you about that later. And then for the navy blue, I used Tough Tex 12 inch and five inch. For the white, I used Semper Tex 12 inch and then um, five inch and then Tough Tex 17 inch. And the desert sand again was uh, 12 inch Calisan brand. So in this cluster, it looks like I connected like 10 dupes or something in here, which would have been like 20 balloons. I decided to make the cluster smaller later on, which I ended up using about six to seven dupes, which is about 12 to 14 balloons per cluster. Now I'm connecting my boxwood backdrop to my stand using some zip ties, and I'm connecting all the way up both sides, all the way across the top, and I'm also making sure I um, close in any gaps within the actual boxwood backdrop itself. So here is one half of my balloon garland base. As you see, I got the clusters of red, navy blue and white, and I'll be adding the desert sand on later. I connected them by taking one neck from one balloon in one cluster and a neck from another balloon in another cluster and tying them together. And that's how I did it. I didn't use any 260s or anything like that. I just tied the balloon clusters together by the necks. And so now I'm connecting this balloon garland to the boxwood backdrop with a 260 balloon. As you see, I tied it through the boxwood backdrop, not the pole. Now I'm connecting small clusters of the desert sand by tying them into the balloon garland base by the necks of the balloons. And then I connected that other half of the balloon garland by taking a 260 balloon, tying it around the top balloon garland and then wrapping it around those desert sand balloons to connect the two garlands together. And then I'm connecting that top portion of the balloon garland to the stand by uh, using a 260 balloon. I'm tying it to that top pole right there on the boxwood backdrop. Now, one thing I didn't show you is how I put those five inch decorators on there. Um, I basically twisted two clusters of five inch decorators to make like a little quads. And I tied a 260 balloon around two of them where each quad was on each end of the 260. And then I took that and wrapped it around the balloon garland base to cover up gaps and give the garland more visual interest. I ended up adding some more five inch decorators, but I honestly felt like I didn't add enough. And I'm also adding more clusters of the red balloons to fill out the bottom part because I noticed that the balloon garland was not quite touching the ground and I don't like that. I want my balloon garlands to touch the ground and spread out just a bit. I'm also adding some more clusters along the side of that balloon garland to make it look more full. Now I'm not liking the way the shape looks right here. So I've decided to, you know, maneuver the balloons around to try to get it to the shape that I want it. I'm taking some of those desert sand balloons out um, and I'm going to put them somewhere else. I'm gonna put them at the very bottom. 
to try to make that um, bottom part spread out on the ground. Like I mentioned before, I like my balloon garlands touching the ground and spreading out just a bit. I didn't want a gap in between the garland and the ground. And then I went to the back right there and connected that bottom part with the 260 to make sure it wasn't like moving around with the wind or anything like that. Okay, so now to talk about these 12 inch red calisand balloons. This was my first time using the red color calisand balloons. Most of the time I use tough text balloons. And actually, again, as I mentioned before, those 17 inch and five inch red balloons were tough text brand, but the 12 inches were calisand and they did not do well outdoors. It was 90 something degrees outside. Of course, this backdrop was in direct sunlight, which is what the client wanted, even though it's not recommended. But when I came back to pick up my backdrop, most of the balloons were intact with the exception of those red calisand balloons, specifically at the top left-hand corner. So I will not be using those anymore. I do like calisand. I've tried many colors from calisand, including that desert sand color, and those colors stood up to the heat. It's just those red ones were not that great. I noticed that the latex tends to stick together which makes it more vulnerable to pop. So I would not suggest the red calisand balloons. I would suggest Tough Tex, Qualitex, or another brand. So now I am putting these foil baseball balloons on to the garland using some glue dots. And just to note, I ended up not using any high shine to restore the shininess of the balloons because this balloon garland was in 90 degree heat in direct sunlight and I didn't want the spray to possibly cook the balloons and cause them to pop. So here is the finished product to this baseball themed balloon garland. So if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, go ahead on and like it and please subscribe and you'll get notifications for future videos on balloon and event decor. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.